Should you start your application development as a monolith or follow a microservices architecture? This is the monolith versus microservices. My name is Renato and I welcome you to our serverless well-architected series. Before we dive into it, go to dashboard.io slash subscribe and make sure you will not miss the next videos. Let's start with an example. Consider an e-commerce backend system with the following features, a catalog, shopping cart, payment and shipping, just very simple e-commerce. In a monolithic architecture, all features would be bundled as a single unit, which simplifies the development and operation of the system. The communication latency between components is very low since they can share CPU and memory from the underlying hardware. Monolith is simple to develop and implement, making it ideal for prototypes and to validate market demand before investing too much into the software. This architecture design fits well into projects with a relatively low complexity and a small team of developers. A monolith usually leads to a higher level of coupling in the code base, however, a harder to scale since we cannot customize resource allocation for each component and can only be deployed as a unit, which can make deployment process slower and riskier. A microservices architecture, on the other hand, allows teams to develop, test and deploy services independently. In microservices, team can, teams can work on different services without interfering with each other's work. Microservices has its downsides as well. It enhances the serverless trilemma, sacrificing architectural best practices in some cases, the data consistency becomes difficult to enforce, and the operational side becomes more complex and difficult to maintain. Which one to choose? A popular and recommended approach is to start with the monolith and migrate gradually to microservices as it makes sense. We may need heavy machine learning processing to prevent credit card fraud in the payment processor, for example, which would require a custom infrastructure. Or parts of, of the system are gra gradually pulled off from the monolith, which reduces in size and gives room to independent microservices. In future videos, we will cover this, this decision-making process and the migration from monolith to microservices into more details. Stay tuned and subscribe to make sure you will not miss anything. Thank you.